Hi guys, welcome to this video. It's been a little while since I made a video, but today I wanted to uh, sort of ease myself back in uh, gently by showing you this here, which is an AOS Gamer Notes pad. So this particular one I got from Blood and Glory, which was the event I went to last weekend. Um, and this one is, uh, of course, the event was put on by Bad Dice. Now these were available from the TGA Forum store, but I couldn't find them when I tried to look today. Um, but the general uh, gist of the, the book is fairly simple. And uh, fear not, a little birdie tells me that they might be available from GW in the near future, uh, which is a pretty exciting prospect. But the premise of it is really simple. So you have your, your gamer notes, basically, uh, which look like this. So you have the date, battle plan, the game. Um, a lot of tournament users, users, a lot of tournament gamers, they take little pads with them and they write down all the different things just to try and keep track of what's performing well in their army, what isn't performing well. Um, bits they found fun, that sort of thing. It also helps you keep track of the turns in the game and the points and everything as well. Um, so this one here was game three. I only put this up on the second day. Um, or the end of the first day, and this was a doubles, and this was the number of uh, units I'd killed during the game, but as you can see down here, the game went south very quickly on turn four, and uh, and we lost. I, I didn't fill in a lot of these details. I was, to be honest, quite overwhelmed by the, uh, the event. It's the first time I've been to a big event, and uh, the complexity of the one I was playing, and also the... Um, just the fact that I was there and there's so many people around. I, f I was getting distracted by things and just generally trying to have fun. So I'm not really paying that much attention to playing <laughs> to playing the games I probably should have. <clears throat> so this is the 2000 point game we played. Excuse me for the cough. Uh, game number four, as you can see here, I, uh, I didn't do well. <laughs> I didn't even uh, keep track of any points after turn two. I believe I was pretty much tabled by that point. Uh, same over here, I was keeping track of a couple of things here. Um, and again, it, it went south very quickly. But the general gist you can see here, you've got the dates, the, the battle plan you're playing, the game you're playing, um, your list so you know what you're doing, uh, any notes during the game of your side, you've also got your opponent's stuff, and then down the bottom here we've got points killed, we've got points lost, whether it was a win or lose, major, and a total there. So you can just keep track of, uh, of your games through the... Um, through the tournament, you can also uh, basically just use it as a journal, really, of, of the army you're playing. It's quite a cool thing to, to keep a track of, how the games are going. If I'm playing more casual sort of games at home, then I'm, I'm more inclined to, to write a lot more into here. And also keep track of, of this sort of thing a lot better. Um, it probably will show up if you've got bad luck um, as to whether you're winning the priority rolls, because I've used this little... Uh, section here to put whether I've won priority or who's going first really and then obviously the points either side as it goes on but yeah that's just basically what I wanted to show you it's a nice quick video uh, like I say easing myself back in they've even put these uh, these inches down here I have measured and uh, they do seem right of course this isn't six inches so you have to basically go up to the five inches there and you can see there, baddice.co.uk. Um, like I say, I'm not sure if these are available. I'll see if I can find a link and uh, put it down in the description. But as it stands at the moment, I can't find them, so, but, uh, which is a real shame. But like I say, a little birdie says that these might be available from GW in the very near future. Um, so, yeah, exciting. I really enjoyed using this, and I'm really looking forward to using it in my games going forwards. Right. Um... Yeah, if you want to hear more about the event uh, that I went to, then please let me know down in the, the comments, um, and I'll try and put a video together with pictures and just generally let you know how it went. Uh, spoiler, it uh, it didn't go particularly well for me, but it was a lot of fun, um, which, which might sound a bit strange, but I guess it'll make more sense if I make the video. So let me know down in the description if you want to see that video. Um, Hopefully I'll be back to making a little bit more regular content very soon. Um, I'm very, very close to reaching 3,000 subscribers, so I need to think of something to do for you guys to say thank you. Um, I'm thinking potentially of making something custom, so let's say a custom box or um, a measure template or tokens or anything to that, that description. Um, Basically, the stuff that I've I've featured in my my previous videos for all the stuff that I work with with um, with Starin. Um, 
But yeah, if you've got any thoughts on that, let me know down below as well. <laughs> I'm not sure I can afford to give away a Star Collecting box like I did last time. And to be honest, nobody seemed to care anyway. There was very little interest in that giveaway. Um, which was a bit strange considering it was £40. But <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it comes and it goes. Right. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Keep up with me in between videos over here. And thank you very much for watching, which I've already said. I'm out of sorts. I've not been well for the last <laughs> week or so um so bear with me guys right thank you very much for watching for the third time <sighs> stay well see you next time guys